Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about hybrid tunings. And what are hybrid tunings? Stick around and find out. dropping by again today and we're going to talk about hybrid tunings. Now this is something that I've been using for years. I don't know if they're really called hybrid tunings. It's just the name that I have adopted for them. They're essentially alternate tunings but variations. In standard tuning the guitar is tuned from the six string E A D G B E. And then there are a host of alternate tunings that we can do. A lot of us start off with drop D where we just take the six string down a whole step. There is then dad gad, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -A -D, um, which is used for, by a lot of players for songs, you know, Jimmy Page. Uh, Radney Foster has some songs in dad gad. There are open E and open G that a lot of slide players use. There's a host of alternate tunings. Robert Fripp uses his own kind of tuning, new alternate standard tuning. Uh, Sean Colvin, Joni Mitchell, famous for using uh, multiple tunings on guitars. Today I'm going to talk about something that I've been doing for years. Again, I call it hybrid tuning because it's partial alternate tunings essentially is what we're looking at. What I did there at the beginning was something that I heard Jack Pearson do in an interview a few years ago. He had made the reference to playing with a band and he was going to tune to open E to play some slide. He got the third string tuned and the band kicked off the song. Well, that got me thinking about what this was and some things that I had been doing myself over the years. And so that first little snippet was just that. You take the third string and tune it to G sharp. And what that gives you is the top three strings are tuned like it's in open E. The bottom three strings are then standard. Now what that does do is shift your fingering so now an E chord doesn't have that first fret right but the other thing it does for slide is it will allow you to play a full chord across the 12th fret in those first three strings another thing that's really cool about this is you can now get the flat seven on the fourth string which again in regular opening you wouldn't get that would be the root um, so it's a neat way to sort of get a half and half scenario where you can play bar chords or power chords and still get that high E in your slide play. of this process again where I'm taking just one two three a couple different strings and tuning them to an alternate tuning and leaving the rest of the guitar in standard tuning now let's back up the first time I ever played slide guitar when I was a teenager uh, I knew that there were open tunings I had listened to Dwayne Allman and Dickie Betts and Leonard Skinner um, but at the time, of course, George Thorogood was on the radio and ZZ Top. I was a big fan of Billy Gibbons and the early ZZ Top stuff. Um, and some of the bands that I played in covered those artists. So what I ended up doing was going to a 
essentially a hybrid open G. Now, starting off as a teen, I didn't have, I had one electric guitar. I took my first string and tuned it down to D. So kind of like a drop D, but on the high D. So what that allowed me to do was I could play regular chords on the bottom still and play like open G on the top. Now, again, I'm a teenager when I started doing this and I didn't really have a concept of what I was doing. I was just trying to fill a need. I was the only guitar player in the band. I needed to play slide. I only had one guitar. So let's just sort of figure this thing out so I could get a little bit of the best of both worlds. <laughs> So that's how I first started playing open G or what I called hybrid G. So let's fast forward several years. I've been using this technique off and on and it's just a workaround basically because I don't have multiple guitars. A showcase that I had to play, the late 90s, early 2000s with a country artist and there were a lot of baritone guitar parts in his music. So again, I only had two guitars at this point. I had a Telecaster and a Stratocaster. Um, I did not have a baritone guitar. I decide that I'm in Nashville, it's guitar town. I'm gonna go shopping for a baritone guitar so I can play this thing, uh, this showcase. Now, I don't have a lot of money at this point. I'm, I'm only been in town a little bit and a struggling musician, but I decide that, you know what, I'm gonna just you know, fork out the money I need to to do this showcase and do a good job. I went to every single guitar store in Nashville. Not a single one had a baritone guitar in stock. I've got two days before this showcase happens. Uh, I went back to this hybrid tuning concept and what I did was I took my standard telly. I didn't put a heavy strings on it or anything like that because we're talking two songs in the entire show. And I just detuned the bottom strings to accommodate the two songs in the set that he was going to do with baritone guitar. So then let's fast forward to another show. I got to play with the late Daryl Singletary. Daryl is an incredible country singer. He had this really cool song. The hook was, Mama used to whoop me with a George Jones record, and that's why I sing this way. Um, it wasn't a baritone guitar part, but if you listen to the track, the original track, my assumption was the guitar on the track was tuned down to E flat. The song was in B flat, so that guitar player played it like it was in the key of B with the transposition and the, the down tuning. Again, I'm on this gig. This is one song out of 40 in this show that I have to play. So I could have kind of taken the six string down a half step to E flat and then used a capo on the first fret and played in B flat. The problem was the capo got in the way of the lick. And so what I ended up doing was I took the six string and tuned it down to E flat. I took the fifth string and tuned it up to B flat. I could play in B flat. with an open fifth string and an open sixth string. So then what happens is the shuffle lick, which is pretty common, is no longer two and three in this position. That's not it. It's now one and two. Your four chord the notes are right across from each other, not like a power chord. And the rest of the time, you can play like you're in B flat.
So again, I use this hybrid concept to just tune down two strings and play the song, get through the gig. It left the top half of my guitar, well, the top four strings of my guitar in standard tuning so I could play regular B flat licks. <laughs> Again, hybrid tuning to the rescue. Now, one more example of this of something I've done. Just recently, I got to play a show with the wonderful Miss Kelly Willis. Um, I'm a big fan of Kelly's. I love her music and her voice, and she's really great to work with. We got to play a show, and this scenario popped up again. She has a hit song called Take It All Out On You. It's one of my favorite songs of hers to play as well. And it wasn't a baritone guitar on the original recording. It was a Telecaster tuned down a whole step, then the six string dropped down to C. That's really low. Typically you would take a guitar and string it up with a little bit heavier gauge strings and a little higher action to accommodate uh, tuning it a whole step below standard. I tuned the sixth string down to C, the fifth string to G, and then the fourth string to C. You do have to play with a lighter touch because you're going to pull the strings out of tune. And depending on how low your action is to begin with, it's going to rattle. But, again, light touch, a little extra compression to pump up the signal, and this is what you get. <laughs> is same thing. I didn't have to tune down my entire guitar, so when it came time to do the solo, I used regular C, made sure I accounted for the fourth string being dropped, and then I could play the lick. Then, when the song was over, I tuned the bottom three strings right back up to standard and continued the show. So that, my friends, is what I call hybrid tuning. Again, this scenario pops up for me now and then uh, because I'm the only guitar player in the band or the only lead player in the band, um, and I have to cover multiple parts. I hope it's something that you'll mess around with, that you found interesting. Let me know in the comments if there's a different alternate tuning or hybrid tuning that you use similar to this. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe below, and as always, stay tuned.